competing for a big championship at home is not always an advantage because you have no personal time unless you can really lock yourself in a room and go into a mental state of seclusion when everybody wants wants a piece of you you have no you have no downtime that Underhill and Martini have to beat if they want to try to win the goal. Another throw, there was a slight over-rotation on her landing on that one. A lot of the Soviet, uh, from the Soviet Union are going to be very hard to beat. Johnny, I think that the Paris is going to be the most hotly contested event. What then is the magic number for Underhill and Martini, Otto? John, the magic number is five. That means that Underhill and Martini need at least five judges to put them in first place tonight to win the gold. When the couple took the ice for the long program, Sandra and I had decided that each of us would go in the mind of one of the competitors. We were into this psych thing. Oh, I went right into Barb's mind. And I just tried so hard to keep her on top of her plates and, and keep her from flying out of her skin like she does when she's excited. This is the moment everybody here has been waiting for and keeping their fingers crossed for. Barbara Underhill and Paul Martini who want to come back from that disappointment at Sarajevo. I still remember what I was thinking during that performance. I had such clarity. It was like I was in a trance. In the first three or four seconds, you will see Paul almost fall on his ass. If you watch very carefully, you'll see me do one of these, as though I was going to fall off my heel. And he goes like that. And there was a little blip in my concentration at that moment. <laughs> and I reached up and I know I grabbed somebody's foot. I have no idea whose foot it was, some member of the audience. And I just squeezed that foot so hard for the entire performance. The strongest elements are the lifts. Look at it. Great height on the split, triple twist lift. What a great opening. And the second important move right now is to throw triple Salkow. He is going to throw far in three revolutions. Let's hope for this one. Here it is. You're not done. And this crowd is with them. Oh, look at straight up. One hand. Beautiful. Right near the end, I heard Sandra screaming. So I screamed at the top of my lungs. No, no, no meaning concentrate, concentrate. I could see her getting that excited barb thing where she starts just levitating. <laughs> There's a throw double axle jump. Oh, the reason Sandra was screaming no is she lost Barbie in her mind. Better. I can remember getting towards the end of the program and we were in our final lift, and I allowed myself to look up. You'll see, just at the end, Barbara lifts herself like this, and she's right back in the audience's face, Sandra screaming no. And I thought, no, no, just stay on the ground, stay on the ice for a few seconds longer. And I just remember, like, pulling myself back, like, Okay, I've got to keep concentrating here. <laughs> the last 30 seconds, of course, you know, I thought, Paul, you haven't, you haven't caught your blades yet. Don't do it now. Just don't do it now. Just get there. They've only got 30 seconds left to go. Good overhead lift, again with the variation. Nice position in the air. They look happy. They know that they've skated well. This could be it. Oh, the ladder! Hang out of your hat! The place was wild. People were stamping their feet. I remember just feeling the energy in that building. I mean, it literally lifted me up onto my feet. It's perhaps the loudest uh, I've ever heard an audience. This is it! The crowd is on their feet already. The place is going wild! Under Hill Martini! 
when we hit that final pose and we embraced, it was like, more than anything, it was relief. You know, after everything that we had been through to get there, after the devastation of Sarajevo and pulling ourselves together and pulling through this. They finished beautifully. I don't think I really totally comprehended or totally appreciated what happened until Barb kind of stood there and didn't give me her hand and put her hands over her head. They just dropped to my head. What that was was just pure and utter relief. Oh, this is, this is it. Now, they, as I said earlier, they could not wait for somebody else to do it for them. Hey, look it! Look it! Five nine, five nine, five seven, five eight to cross. Five seven from the British judge. The five nines are from the U.S., from the Swiss judge. They need five first place votes, remember, in the total of these two marks. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it, but it was like we climbed this huge mountain. And then where do you go from there? Suddenly, there were no goals in my life. Suddenly, there was no direction. There was no... I don't know. It was it, it was a very confusing time because I, I felt that this was what I had been waiting for, you know? Professional skating, the glory, the, the glamour. It's hard to believe that six minutes of your life can make such a huge impact on what lies ahead for you. But it's, it, was, it was an is reality for us, and it really let us move on.